Welcome to AI Sciences and today we are going to see how we can develop a recommendation system for Netflix data. So first thing first let's import a few libraries. The first library that we are going to need is NumPy. So let's write import NumPy as NP. After that I am going to import pandas as PD. Later I am going to import sklearn feature extraction. So for that, let's write from sklearn dot feature underscore extraction import text. After that, we are going to import cosine similarity as well. So from sklearn dot matrix dot pairwise import cosine underscore similarity so let's run all of them and after that let's bring in the data so data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and in this i am going to write netflix data because that is the name of the data file and you can also see the head of the data as well there we go this is the head in which we have the id of the show its title its description director genre cast production country release date and rating and all of these things so on the basis of these things we are going to see if uh, we can uh, you know recommend something or not so basically we are going to take three things out so first one is title second one is description then content type and genres so these four things are the one that we are going to get out so let's do that the first one is title so title we need the title after that we need the description after that we need the content type and last but not the least we need the genres so let's run this as well and let's see data dot head so now we have these four things that are available to us so what is the next thing that we want we would like to you know delete any of the null value or not available value that is available in this so of course if you have worked with data analysis before this is one of the most important techniques however i am not going to average it out or something like that i am just going to drop it okay so after dropping it what is the next step the next step is to get some stop words as well as uh, you know some stemmers and things like that using nltk right so the few libraries that i'm going to need right now are nltk and re right so re will be used for cleaning so import nltk import re after that i am going to write nltk dot download and here i am going to download stop words and after that i am going to write stammer is equal to nltk dot snowball stammer and the language that i want this in is english so after that i'm going to bring in the stop words from corpus so from nltk dot corpus import stop words 
and after that I'm going to import string and stop word is equal to set stop words dot words and in this I'm going to write English okay so let's run this as well and after this I'm going to uh, you know clean the text using the re library right so let me bring in the commands for this so name of the function is clean and text will be given to this and these will be you know deleted at the first step then https and all of these things then we will delete this and this and this so all of the uh, this is done for the cleaning of the text so that the text that we are getting is good enough right so we are going to do this for the title so data title is equal to data title dot apply clean and after that what we are going to do is we are going to write data dot title dot sample and let's write 10 in this so these are the samples of the titles that we have now okay so what is the next step the next step is we are going to write a function for recommendation as well and in that function we are going to use a few things such as uh, you know cosine similarity and all of these right so let's bring that in first thing that we need to do is we need to make the features so let's say that the genres are the features so data genres so these are the features after that we are going to use the tfidf which is a vectorizer system right so t f idf vectorizer and in this input is equal to feature and stop words is equal to english after that i am going to write tfidf underscore matrix is equal to tf idf dot fit underscore transform and i am going to perform the feature transformation here and then for similarity i am going to use the cosine similarity so similarity is equal to cosine underscore similarity and in this i am going to do tf idf underscore matrix so it's saying that text is not a word that is you know known so here it is giving me this error okay so the spelling of text were not correct so let's write text okay so now we also have to have the indices so indices is equal to pd dot series here i am going to write data dot index comma index is equal to data and in this i am going to write title and after that i am going to write dot drop underscore duplicates okay so after that we just have to bring in the similarity score so for that we are making a function by the name netflix recommendation and two things are given in it 
title and similarity so uh, similarity will come from here right and we will have a title as well and it will make a list of the similarity and later from that calculate the similarity scores and then it will be uh, you know uh, the uh, similarity will be you know determined by how much these titles are you know similar to each other by words right so for that we have used all of these uh, cosine similarity here right so cosine similarity will be the one due to which we will be able to see how each character or each word you know looks alike to each other right so now let's test it so netflix recommendation and here i'll write let's suppose something like girlfriend okay so it is saying that netflix recommendation is not available let's so these are all the shows that are recommended alongside it so in this way we can you know make any sort of recommendation system that is available to us right so for more videos like this keep watching ai sciences